Well, we got the traps all done. My son, daughter-in-law, and my grandkids showed up. We got some traps of his we're going to do. But here's the final product. A little bit of steel hanging up there. Oh, yeah. So that's part two of dying and wax and traps. Um, this is what the wax ended up looking like after we're done. A little bit of the dye comes off when you wax them, no big deal. So like, share, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Morning everybody, Trapper Bob. We're back out in the trapping shed. Uh, a lot cooler out this morning. Um, I've got the wax melting. So we can get these traps dyed. There's how they turned out. These uh, RBGs. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet traps. My 330s. This is my beaver tote. All my beaver traps. And these are the Bridger number fives that I had. And these are TS-85s. Oh no, that's a Bridger. I'm sorry. That's the TS-85s. We're going to get them all waxed up today. We've got three totes. Two coyote totes. Beaver tote. And then I think I'm going to wax these dog proof traps. It's not really necessary, but might as well. First raccoon will pretty much they take the dye and the wax off. They get a little pissy. Here's my buckets. Got two and a half dozen one sixties in them buckets. I'll be running. And then here I've got two more dozen buckets and they've got Bridger or not Bridger um, Duke 160s and in my mailboxes I'm going to use these for um, mink I've got Bridger 150s I'll be using that for mink and my cable restraints I got dyed up they look real good. They're nice and dark now. Not shiny. So this is kind of my setup in the shop. My workbench where I do work on traps. This is where I do all the work on the traps. My storage area for my traps. My gear bag. Drill bag. I bought a new drill for this year. This is my bait bag water traps 110s i've got my stakes all my stakes and trail things more 160s traps that i gotta fix right there dog proof traps with stakes on them i think there's three or four dozen in there plus the two dozen that i just bought all my h stands for the 160s Got a bunch of turkey feathers. Uh, we're not allowed to uh, use feathers on sets, so I just kind of picked them up for shits and giggles. There's uh, wolf fang anchors. I got extras. That was the wife. Um. Oh, here's my buckets. Uh, I'll put bait in these raccoon bait in all these buckets. What I do is get a 50 pound bag of whole corn, pick it up at the local feed store for like $7.50. And then I get a bag or two of cat food and I'll mix it up. And I've got a little bit of this coon collector shit left over from last year. 
I'll probably put that in there. I might mix about eight or ten cans of sardines in with the corn and the dog food. Just as a little extra attractant. But that's what we got going on today. We're going to be waxing these traps. Um, oh, here's a last beaver I got on my nuisance job. Seventh beaver out of that one pond. My other pelts should be here next week from oil making tannery. I sent them five beaver pelts and two otters. So maybe do an unboxing when I get in off the road next time on those pelts. See how they turned out. It's taken forever. Moyo Lincoln Tanneries had my pelts since end of February, beginning of March. I called them and asked them what was going on, and they said I'll have them the 18th. Of, I'll ship them out the 18th of this month. So. So like I said, I'm just waiting for the wax to get melted. It should get, shouldn't be too much longer. It'll be up to temperature. And then we'll start waxing traps. I'll turn you back on once we get rolling. Okay. Well, that's the last dozen dog proof Freedom Brand. I think I'm really going to like these. There's no dog, they're dogless. This is the last one's coming out of the wax. The biggest thing when you're waxing your traps is to leave the traps in the wax long enough that the metal on the traps goes up to the same temperature as the wax. Then you get a nice good coating. If you don't leave them in long enough, they turn white, which means you didn't leave them in long enough to heat the metal up. But those are brand new, never been used. Freedom brand dog proofs, dogless. Rusted them, dyed them, and now they're waxed and ready for service. So now we'll move on to the coyote traps. So we're cruising right along. Uh, I, using the handles, my wife came up with the idea. I'm dipping four traps at a time, and I'm using the handle off them buckets to dip them in and hold them so I can pull them right out. And then I'm hanging them on my fur hangers. So we're coming right along. It's a pretty good process. They're looking really good. These are the new Bridger number three fully modified offset jaws that I'm going to. So yeah, we got a pretty good system going. I put leave them in there until the traps reach temp. And then I pull them out and hang them up on a fur hanger. We'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> 